Hi, I'm Tiny Pirate, and this is the 30th episode of Two Minute Mods. How amazing is that? I'm not sure what's more surprising, that I'm still making these videos or that you're all still watching. Today's mod is the New Horizons mod by Kill Ashley. New Horizons takes advantage of the Copernicus mod framework and moves all of the worlds in the normal Kerbal system and plops them in new orbits around the sun. It also adds a number of new worlds and moons and gives you some pretty great places to explore. In total, New Horizons adds 19 new bodies to explore, each with their own unique and interesting characteristics. New Horizons will work in career mode as contracts are updated to reflect the solar system that you'll find yourself in when playing a New Horizons career. And what a solar system it is! There are 11 worlds with multiple moons. In fact, Kerbin now orbits Sona, a blue gas giant with stunning rings. And one of the neat things about being a moon of another planet is that it's relatively easy for Kerbals to hop across to another one of Sona's moons, allowing a lot of fun practice exploring strange, but nearby, worlds. But once you've got to grips with the local system, you've got 10 other planets to explore, and all of their moons, and that is a lot of space to fit into your Kerbal day. Now, New Horizons probably shouldn't be tackled by people who aren't familiar with Kerbal Space Program already. You're going to have to figure out Delta V budgets yourself, as there's no easy cheat sheet that I've dug up yet. In the end, this problem can be solved by simply adding more boosters to pretty much everything, right? If you've played through a couple of Kerbal careers and are getting a bit tired of visiting the usual worlds in the usual order, then New Horizons could breathe some new life into Kerbal Space Program. And you have to admit, it also looks pretty darn good. Who can resist the allure of exploring those wonderful planetary rings? I've been Tiny Pirate, this has been the 30th episode of Two Minute Mods. I hope I'll catch you next time as we plough on towards our next mod showcase milestone. If you have a favourite mod we haven't covered, let us know in the comments below.